Over the centuries, countless numbers of Chinese have fled persecution and conflict to seek refuge in the Southern Ocean. But not all Chinese come to Southeast Asia seeking refuge. Some of the most celebrated arrive as explorers, missionaries, and traders. The most celebrated is the Muslim eunuch, Admiral Zheng He. In the case of uh, the Ming to Qing transition, the coastal provinces broke apart from the central government Zheng Zhengkong set up a, a large overseas trading empire and under those conditions a lot of people from Fujian and Guangdong uh, went overseas. Admiral Zheng He led huge fleets of ships to the Southern Ocean. These remarkable vessels were described as floating cities. On board were merchants and diplomats. At one Binjiang Avenue in Nanjing, experts are rebuilding a mighty Chinese ship using wood from the forests of Malaysia. They call this the treasure ship of Zheng He, and its present day reconstruction is revealing the astonishing mastery of maritime engineering that allowed Zheng He to venture so far across the world. <laughs> Chi 当地的人民. For Malaysians, Malacca is the touchstone of national identity. The Malaccan Empire, it is believed, provides a model for the modern Malaysian state. What this overlooks is that Malacca owed its rise to power to the tribute system of the Chinese emperors, and Zheng He was their emissary. Originally, countries from Southeast Asia would send tribute to the Chinese emperor. After the Mongols were driven out of China, they stopped bringing tribute. So Zheng He went to those tribute-bringing countries, encouraging them to start again bringing tribute to the Chinese emperor. Although he was sent by the Chinese emperor, Zheng He himself, as well as the other captains in his fleet, were all Muslims. So Today, it is forgotten that Zheng He made such a profound contribution to the spread of Islam in the Southern Ocean. Nor is it often acknowledged that a Chinese admiral and diplomat helped shape and reinforce the Malay Empire, perfectly positioned halfway between China and India. So the Malaccan Empire owed its prosperity to the alliance with Zheng He and the Chinese Emperor. But the greatness of Malacca was not to last. 
For now, Europeans had their eye on the riches of the East. In 1511, a fleet commanded by Afonso de Albuquerque and bristling with cannon captured Malacca. It was the first clash of civilizations, and for the next half a millennium, white men would hold sway in the Southern Ocean. A Portuguese clerk called Tomé Pérez wrote an account of the new Portuguese possession. He encountered a notably boisterous Chinese community in Malacca. The Chinese all eat pork, beef and meat of any animals. They drink all kinds of nasty beverages and look just fine with them. They praise their wine and get drunk a lot. Demeaning comments like this do little justice to the contribution the Chinese made to the Malacca Empire. Peters probably could not imagine that in the Spanish East Indies, the modern Philippines, it was the Chinese who did the invading. Here, at the north end of the Lingayen Gulf, a 400-year-old Chinese community has an intriguing link to the past. All the people around here share a surname, Lin. Legend has it that their ancestors came here under the leadership of a conqueror called Lin Fong. In November 1574, at the very moment a Spanish governor of the Philippines was planning to invade China, Lin Fong sailed into the Agno estuary in the Gulf of Lingayen in a fleet of 62 warships. On board were 4,000 sailors and soldiers. Lin Fong began marching on the Spanish capital of Manila. Lin Fong, the size 但是他是拖家带口的 Even though Lin Fong's army outnumbered the Spanish, when he saw the power of their firearms, he beat a hasty retreat. He and his thousands of followers settled down in the Luzon area, to the north of Manila. But why had Lin Fong come to the Southern Ocean in the first place? It turns out he was kind of a pirate. Western countries, European countries, they promoted uh, overseas trade. While in the eyes of the Chinese government, the Chinese who went overseas really were you know, uh, were, they, were, they were bandits because they had left their own village without the permission of uh, uh, the government. So the attitude of the governance towards overseas migration was completely different. Pirate or conqueror, Lin Fong changed the course of history in the Philippines. But for the next five centuries, the Chinese of the Southern Ocean would be forced to come to terms with a succession of arrogant European powers. <laughs> 